Hello and welcome. My name is Mark, and in this video, we will go through Federating the Cloud Portals IFS, or Infor Federation Services Federated Hub, to the Google Identity Provider. This will include configuring authentication and authorization to the Infor Cloud Suite. Businesses may want to integrate with Google as an identity provider because this will enable single sign-on to be used and that will assist with account management using your corporate sign-on credentials. Here's a diagram showing the high-level architecture of what will take place, federating the Infor Cloud Identity Provider with the Google Identity Provider. There is also an option to automate user provisioning using SKIM or System for Cross-Domain Identity Management. Note the Google SKIM interface is not customizable and only provisions users with basic attributes. Also, no group publishing is available. This will be covered in future videos. Let's get started. Open a browser and navigate to the Infor Cloud Portal. Log on to the portal with an admin cloud identity account. Once in the Cloud Portal, if the OS application is not displayed, select the OS application from the navigation menu on the OS application page, click on the Security tab on the top of the page, or you can also select the security card located on the main page. This will bring you to the User Management screen. If you do not have the Security tab or card displayed, you will need the IFS Application Admin and Portal Content Administrator security roles assigned to your user account. In the Users menu selector, expand Security Administration and select Federated Security. Select Federated Security again. Click the plus sign to add a new item. If not already checked, select the box for SAML 2.0 enabled and validate the Authenticate with Infor STS or Infor Security Token Service is selected. Infor STS is an access management solution that provides security access to Infor web applications. The Infor STS option should be enabled by default. Get a copy of the service provider entity ID value and assertion consumer service base URL from the Infor STS metadata. Scroll down to the service provider information section and locate the view button and click it. Copy the entity ID value and assertion consumer service URL and put them in a notepad. Click cancel. You will use this metadata information to build the Google application. You will now create the application in Google used for the Federation. Access the Google Admin site and from the left hand menu, select Web and Mobile Apps under the Apps section. Click the Add App button and select Add Custom SAML App from the drop down list. Supply an app name and continue. We recommend putting the tenant name somewhere in the name field, like in for Cloud Suite Dem. Click the Download Metadata button, then click Continue at the bottom of the page. Copy and paste the Entity ID value from the Cloud Portal, previously captured, into the Entity ID field in Google. Now copy and paste the Assertion Consumer Service Base URL from the Cloud Portal into the ACS URL field in Google and click Continue. Click the Finish button. In the User Access section, click the down arrow button to expand the panel. Select the On for Everyone button and click Save. Now you can complete the Cloud Portal Federation with Google. Return to the Cloud Portal's Federated Security section and click the From File button. Browse and select the Google Metadata.xml file you exported from Google, and then click Import. You will notice the Google Identity Provider information will be updated in the Tenant Federation fields, like the SSO endpoint and certificate. Enter a display name for your Google Federation. An example would be Google. Note, the name will be displayed on the Home Realm screen once the Federation is complete. Click the Save button. Now that the Federation is saved, click the back arrow beside Federated Security 
to return to the Security Administration section. Under Security Administration, select Authentication URL Options. Check the box for Allow Users to Choose Authentication Mode and click Save. This will enable the Google icon to be displayed on the Home Realm screen. It is time to test the authentication to the Cloud Portal. Open an incognito or in private browser and navigate to the Cloud Portal. On the Home Realm screen, you should now see the Google selection. Select the Google button. Under Sign In, supply the Google account information and click Next. Supply a password and click Next. After authentication, the account will be authorized for access and the Cloud Portal will be presented. This concludes this presentation of the Identity and Access Management Cloud Portal Federation to the Google Identity Provider. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to get notified when new videos are available.